Hey, we are talking about getting dirty between the sheets. Hey, oh, not what you think we're talking about, though. <laughs> it has a whole different meaning. <laughs> Our news what? director is like running away, like, what are you guys talking about over here? Uh, we are talking about a specific uh -huh. item that some people wear to bed, and it could be. Some people say even more Where dirty is this going? than the toilet. Because I I, I, didn't, I don't know what this segment's about to be about. All I heard was yeah. you say getting dirty between the sheets. Yeah. yeah, so this could go a whole lot of ways, but we are talking about unclean socks, people. Get your minds out of the gutter. I love, the, I love <laughs> how you teased that and walked over with the confidence that it wasn't what we all yeah. thought it was. We're talking about unclean okay. socks. Right. They are urging people to stop wearing <laughs> unclean socks. That means no socks in bed. They found that socks you wore all day contain the same bacteria found in cockroaches oh, yeah? and their fecal droppings. Oh, this so took what a do you really think? dark so turn. Socks or no socks to bed. Oh, okay. What do you think? Oh, well, there's, there, there's two ways to look at this. Okay. So the socks that I'm wearing right now will be taken off the moment I get home. Okay. And because and, I'm going to take a shower. If I put a pair of socks on at night to chill in my living room, can I not wear those into my bedroom? Is that the same thing? Okay, now, I, I mean, I do, I do take my socks off. I don't sleep with my socks on because I just think it's not comfortable. It's kind of weird, yeah. But I don't think it. I don't think it'd be weird to go from your living room to your bed. So I think what they're saying is that a lot of people they're not doing what you're doing. Okay. They're keeping their socks on. They've worn them all day. That's kind of They gross. might wear them to bed, yeah. and they've been you know walking around their house. You said there were fecal droppings. <laughs> they're is, that, as, is that the word? As you dirty used? as the fecal <laughs> droppings of cockroaches. You guys, like I said, didn't think this story was Wait going this way, did why, you? Why specifically cockroaches? I don't understand why we're categorizing Look, I didn't those make the particular. Story. The scientists this is gave the us craziest. this. This went from this went literally from the, this is like the craziest arc of a story I've yeah. ever heard in my life. Like I we went, went from, from what a I, dirty yeah, in, the sheets, in the sheets to socks to cockroaches and. Yeah. So, but you do, you do sometimes, <laughs> your face. I don't know, I don't know what that is. Uh, so do you wear socks to bed though sometimes? I don't, not anymore, no. okay. do you? Uh, no, I cannot sleep with socks on. The only time is if it's like super, super cold out, it's like snowing. Yeah. Even then I might throw them off in the yeah. middle of the night. Yeah. But I have been sick before and worn socks. That's different. If you're sick, because you're trying to keep your body at yeah. a certain temperature. My whole new thing now is because on this show, because of this show, I now use a top sheet or a flat yes, sheet on my bed, I which I wasn't <laughs> using. Speaking of dirty, because I, I guess I wasn't thinking about the idea of it keeping my comforter clean. But now I have this new like pillow I put between my legs at night that I sleep with. It's like a, like an hourglass kind of thing. Oh, I, I'm you know you, they, I, they make those for for women who are pregnant. Yeah, apparently. <laughs> listen, I turn 40 next year, so I, I'm just trying to get my my body alive. Line, my spine go. in the right place. I mean, <laughs> listen, I'm, I'm starting to fall apart here on the DMV zone. Understandably, understandably I'm, I'm an old man. I, I mean, listen, that. 40's not old. I'm just kidding. No, but I, I am. I am. Get, I, I'm getting up there. You know. We'll get you one of those long pillows. You know, yeah. they make them for for when you're on maternity. Yeah. And it's like as tall as you. Maybe are. I'll try that. Might 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 help. Might me. help a little bit more. Uh, can I just stay 39 <laughs> the rest of my life? You know what? Actually, I have a necklace that my grandma passed on to my mom <laughs> that she eventually will pass on to me. It says 39 and holding. I oh, kid you not. You Gotta get I, that. I will, Let me I'll borrow take a that. <laughs> this is meant to be. That'll be your birthday. But, you know, this is we'll get a picture of that. Jacqueline, this is meant to be. <laughs> it is. We'll find All that. Right. Okay, right. so let's move on to our next story here. You remember our earlier conversation about aliens? We were talking about that with Tom Fitzgerald earlier. Yeah. Uh, do you believe them in them or not? That's the question. But here's some news. While you're thinking about that, listen to this. NASA discovered what is called a super Earth that could have the right conditions to support life. Scientists found that a, uh, there's a gas there that can only be produced by living organisms on the distant water planet. What we know so far is that this planet is about eight times the size of Earth, wow. 120 light years away. Uh, meanwhile, Mexico presented evidence of what they say are aliens. Experts who say extraterrestrial uh, life is out there. They testified in front of the country's Congress. Two bodies and caskets were revealed. I'm hoping we can pull up video of what they look like. Uh, if you haven't, they're online as well. They, they kind of have this, this stereotypical alien depiction. So what do you think? I mean, do you think aliens are real? Have you seen the photos of these uh, so-called aliens from Mexico? Okay, I, listen, I do believe that there's life out there. I, I always have. I, I think there's no way that we're the only ones uh, in the world. But I will, <laughs> the question that I want to know is whether or not they wear socks to bed at night. Well, you know. That's the question. That's what we need to be focusing on here. Not, you know, not a super earth. Whether or do, not they're saying clean in between right. the sheets. Do they have a flat sheet? Do they wear undershirts? 
and do they wear, and do they actually wear socks to bed at night? That's the question we need these scientists and to ask. Is there a Taco Bell? On whatever country yes. or planet they live in. I want to know. I need to know. Um, oh my gosh. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Do well, you okay. believe if aliens it, exist? I don't. I don't know. I. I want to believe there's definitely something out there. Yeah. But I feel like seeing the images that we saw coming out of Mexico that they presented to to their Congress there, like these are what you, like a stereotypical alien sure. would look like in a movie. And I'm right. like, that looks like you guys lost your Halloween decorations right. and just like made a mold casting out of your Halloween it is decorations. Crazy that we've like that we've be, that we've molded this idea of what an alien looks like yeah. in cinema and and media, and that's what we think about when we think about it. When aliens could look just like us. We have no idea. They could look like us. Uh, Maybe they look like yeah. dogs. Yeah. Maybe they're little amoebas that are just walking around. I mean, I'm, a, I'm a big Blink-182 fan, and Tom DeLonge yeah. has, has been, has been uh, on the uh, on the, on the the horn for a long time about aliens existing, and I, Tom DeLonge is one of those guys who talks about it a lot, so I, I've always been interested in aliens yeah. and, and, and just outer space and what's going on in yeah. the world, and Interstellar is my favorite movie, so, you know. There you go. Let yeah. us know what you think. Do you think aliens are real? Is there something out there? Let us know. Hashtag DMV Zone. We'll be